Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 12th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So, as we are two months into the Major League Baseball season, divisional races are actually starting to heat up pretty nicely and playoff implications for every game are that much more important because we are only about a month now away from the All-Star break. So let's take a look at some of the games for this weekend. Scroll down here. Now there's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at five of them. So there's quite a few games that we will not look at. Actually, we're going to look at six of the games. First one is the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. Here's a game with two teams heading in the opposite direction. You see the Cubs are ice cold down, losers of their last three and four out of their last six. Well, the Yankees are burning hot, and they have won five out of their last six games. You can see that the Cubs have been involved in games over the line three out of their last four, and the Yankees over the line in five out of their last six. The score prediction has the Yankees by a 10-3 score with 66% level of confidence. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that the Yankees here are at plus 21, and the Cubs have dipped dramatically from plus 20. Just a little less than we could go down to plus seven. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the teams performing with regard to their favorite underdog status? You can see that the Yankees much more consistent at plus 19, generally in an upward direction. In fact, that's the highest they've been all year. While well, the Cubs are at minus one, and they have been pretty much not consistent at all, all year with that respect. So take that with a grain of salt before you make your pick. Um, I do like the Yankees this game by several runs. I don't think it will even be very close. Not a competitive game at all, and I think it will be high scoring. So let's go over the line. Next game I want to take a look at as we scroll down through a large list of games for Sunday. We keep going down. See, there's a lot of games. Here we go. Tampa Bay Rays and the Minnesota Twins. In this game, the Twins come in average down. They have won three and lost three over the last six. You can see right here, as soon as I can get this up. There we go. Three and three over the last six, alternating wins and losses. And the Rays are burning hot. They have won their last three and four out of their last six. Jeffrey Springs is scheduled to pitch for the Rays, while Cole Sands is set to pitch for the Twins. T. Springs is two and two of the 1.62 ERA and is very good um, on the pitcher profit oscillator. So he's a solid bet at plus $206, while Sand is only 2 and 8.49 year array, and a very poor bet at minus $100. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see the Twins have been involved in high-scoring games in each of the last six, going over the line, while the Rays are 3 over 3 under over their last six. The power ranking indicator shows Tampa on a very high upward trend from plus 12 all the way up to plus 26 just over the last four days. While the Twins are also on the increase from plus 6 up to plus 15. The score prediction has Tampa in a 5-4 score with about 51% level of confidence. So slightly better than the talks of a coin there. So not great uh, confidence in that. So take a look at that as it gets closer to game time to see if that has changed. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see here that... Both teams are pretty consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status, although the Twins have been up and down uh, over the last couple of weeks with that regard. They were up as high as plus 17, now they're at plus 15, so a little bit more unstable as of late. In the end, though, I think this is a good uh, matchup for the Twins. I kind of like them to uh, break out of a little bit of a, a up and down funk that they've been in, and I think that regardless of the fact that Sands has been pitching poorly, I just have a Good feeling about this one with Minnesota to win this game at home, but I would avoid the over-under. Texas and Chicago White Sox, Cincinnati and St. Louis. Here's another good matchup, the Reds and the Cardinals. Although both teams are struggling at ice cold down, you can see that Cincinnati has lost their last two and four out of their last six, and the Cardinals have also lost four out of their last six and their last three. But it's a good uh, central division matchup in the National League. You see Graham Ashcroft, is scheduled to pitch for the Reds, and Dakota Hudson is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals. If you look at the uh, matchup here, you can see that 
Ashcraft is 3-0 and zero with a 1.14 ERA, and it's a very good bet at plus $359, while Dakota Hudson is also a solid bet at plus $69, and he is 4-2 and two with a 2.76 ERA. With the over-under, you can see that the Cardinals have been over in just one out of the last four, and the Reds involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. The score prediction has the Cardinals by a nice 7-2 margin with about 50% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator sees that, look at this, if Reds were plus 24 just two days ago, boom, down to plus 4 now, and the Cardinals have increased slightly from plus 15 to plus 17. How consistent have the two teams been with regards to their favorite underdog status? You can see that the Cardinals are at plus 13, and the Reds are at plus 11. Cardinals have been on a pretty much a nice upward trend most of the season. But you can see the Reds, they are up and down as of May the 10th, so like a month ago, almost exactly a month ago. Actually, it is a month ago to the day. They were at plus 14, and they are now down to plus 11. So they've been very unstable as of late, so take that into consideration. I think that this is going to be a good game for the Reds to win on the road. Uh, I'd say by a couple of runs, but I would avoid the over-under bet. The game of the weekend, I believe, is the Dodgers and the Giants. This whole series is going to be a great one. A battle of two teams in the NL West. The Dodgers come in burning hot, winners of their last two, three and three over the last six. And the Giants are averaged down, alternating wins and losses over the last six. If you look at the over-under, Dodgers over the line in three out of their last six games, and that's the same as with the Giants. The score prediction has the Dodgers by an 8-4 score with about 53% level of confidence. In the power ranking indicator, you see the Dodgers have been back on an upward trend. You can see that they were up as high as uh, plus 28 just at the end of last month. You can see they have been up and down a lot as of lately. They are back up to plus 19 while the Giants are sitting at plus 12. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability of the two teams, Dodgers much more so than the Giants. Dodgers are plus 14. The Giants were as high as plus 9 just about three weeks ago, and now they're at plus 3, so take that with a grain of salt. They have not been performing consistently with regard to their favorite underdog status. Because of that, I really do like the Dodgers to win on the road. I think this will be a high-scoring game, so go over the line. Red Sox and the Mariners. Red Sox come into the action burning hot down. You can see that they have won five out of their last six games. They are coming off of a loss, but five and one over their last six. And the Mariners are average up. They have won four out of their last six games. The pitching matchup, we do not know the scheduled pitcher for Seattle, but Garrett Whitlock is scheduled to go for the Red Sox. He is a solid 2-1 with a 3.51 ERA, and his um, profit number, not good, minus $68, so he has not been a very solid bet. In fact, he's been a slightly poor bet as far as that goes. If you look at the score predictor, you can see that the Red Sox are given a 65 edge with a nice level of confidence of 78%. On the power ranking indicator, Boston has been steady at plus 29 over the last few days. While Seattle has been up and down, they were at plus 24. They dropped to plus 13, went back up to plus 23, and back down to plus 18. That's just all over the last six days. So you can see they have been very inconsistent as of late. Um, the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, you can kind of see the same thing here. Both teams not very consistent lately. You see Seattle was at plus 14 on May 23rd. They are down to plus 10. The Red Sox were as high as plus uh, 6 on April 28th, and they have been down, and they have never regained to that point. They're at plus 4 right now. So take the favorite underdog status and kind of throw it out the window on this one. I think I like um, the Red Sox to win this one on the road, but I think it will be a lower-scoring game, so go under the line. We got the Rockies and the Padres. The last one we want to look at now is the Mets and the Dodgers. The Mets come into play average down. You can see they are three and three over their last six games and are coming off of two blowout losses at being outscored by a combined twenty to two. The Dodgers are dead up. They have just ended a five game losing streak with oh, excuse me, I said the Dodgers. This is not the Dodgers. Let's start over with this. This is the Mets and the Angels. 
not the Dodgers, two Los Angeles teams. Anyway, the Mets still, everything I said about them holds true. But with the Angels, they have lost five out of their last six games. And they're coming off of a 5-2 to two win against Boston. So the scheduled pitching matchup is Tejon Walker for the Mets and Patrick Sandoval for the Angels. Walker is 3-2 and with a 3.28 ERA. But it's been a slightly poor bet at minus $31. While Sandoval has been doing very well on the mound, 3-1 with a 2.81 ERA. And he has been a very good bet at plus $133. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Mets were at plus 25. They dipped over the last couple of days down to plus 14. While the Angels have been very low for like the last couple of weeks now since they started playing poorly. And they're just at plus 2. If you want to look at the stability factor, not a surprise that the Angels have been not very stable. Only at plus 4, while the Mets are at plus 9. The way I look at this one, I just don't see the Angels getting out of this funk anytime soon. I like the Mets to come out on top by a few runs in a game going over the line. So there you have it. So those are the matchups for June the 12th for Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.